What is personality? This will be a brief video discussing the definition of personality. Common questions regarding personality include, what does personality mean? Does everyone have personality? Is it intuitive, innate or intrinsic? Or is it assigned extrinsically by others? Do some people have more or less personality? Do animals have personality? It is connected with the notion of individuality and uniqueness. But let's explore the psychology of personality. Personality research in modern science originated from Gordon Allport, who used lexical hypothesis, which was just looking for synonyms and words uh, associated with other words regarding the character of individuals. He found nearly 18,000 words using this method alone. Eventually others would reduce the number of traits down to three by Eisnick, or down to five by Costa and McRae. I'll cover the trait approach in a separate video. Anyway, definitions of personality include that personality is a particular pattern of behavior and thinking that prevails across time and situations that differentiates one person from another, by Carlson et al. 2004. According to Clone Ninja 2000, personality is seen as the case which produces particular human experience and behavior. A good question to ask is, is personality something you do, like a pattern or style, or is it a set of internal causes? Is it dynamic? Or can it change? Other things to consider include the nomothetic and ideographic approach. Nomothetic approach is interested in human nature in general and attempts to generalize and establish overarching laws about human behavior. They tend to rely on the trait approach. The ideographic approach, on the other hand, focuses on individual, uh, on the individual and recognition of uniqueness, looking at specific factors that cause people to be the way they are. Personality theories try to encompass the big picture, and these personality theories try to help understand what is considered normal and healthy, mental functioning, as well as psychological needs, as well as meeting psychological needs, and they help understand uh, when personality breaks down, as well as treating those suffering from a disorder, since personality originally originated from abnormal psychology, or also called psychopathology. They also debate things like the stability of personality, whether traits are caused by nature or nurture, where free will and determinism comes into play, and also what is the best way to research personality. So basically looking at methodology. So yeah, thanks for watching this brief video on defining personality, and what is uh, explored by such a task.